your favorite FGC VTuber channel. We hit 1K recently. But anyways, uh, I plan on doing these, actually. I think I said before why I want to do tier list videos. Yes, yes, I know. And I did that one looking over. I'll look at other people's tier list and see what I give my thoughts. Like I said, the meta isn't fully 100. If I'm being honest, give it... I say a year. Honestly, it's a year. This game is so fucking much, so... Whoever wins Capcom Pro Tours is going to get maybe some things. It's just, it's so much, bro. This ain't Street Fighter 6. I just want to let that out. That nothing's concrete. But I want to go about this tier list. I actually was going to upload one about Jamie as someone who did play Jamie. But even then, I'm not that 100 to be like an early Jamie tier list. But this is something that I felt like, you know what? That's actually fairly accurate. And it says, Ryu has no even matchup. If anyone is wondering why I place these in the order, I asked why. Right? And then we'll see. What's up with Luke and Gal personally? I think, yeah, yeah. But let's go look at these real quick. So I want to start off like... By saying that uh, one matchup that I thought was kind of funny was Guile. Because normally, Guile, historically, Ryu does good against Guile. But is it really that different that... I don't know. I don't think I agree with Guile being in very ba every every bad. I think he meant to put very bad. I think just bad at worst. Everyone's been saying that Guile actually does good against uh, Ryu. I mean, in 5 was kind of the case. It's just that Guile... It, it, like, I will say Guile is definitely better than Ryu. There's no argument in there. But as far as matchups, like... I don't know. It's weird. It, it's something that I thought when there was like the, the whole um, DJ matchup with Guile, like Guile, the way I noticed this is a great example, right? When you play Guile and you're facing DJ, DJ can get the early better zoning, but he can't keep it. He has to work to keep it. If Guile has the zoning lead, DJ has to struggle. Not on, And on top of that, Guile can stop DJ zoning by wasting meter or make it even. I just had a first attend with Nameless20Z and that's exactly what happened. You know, I have... Uh, yeah, I faced two times. No, two times. Guile against DJ. And like, no, 100%. That's in Guile's favor. Like, hard. But with Ryu, like, he can start the zone equally with Guile. They both waste me, so it's even. But I think the only reason is why if Guile does get the head start in zoning, it does start to become hard for Ryu. The only thing is you do have to do, say, if he throws a Sonic Boom, the, your best option is to neutral jump, then get Hashigeki. Like, when he gets Hashigeki, then... He Ryu zoning game, but the problem with Ryu is that Gao doesn't need to lose Okazemi to do his great zoning game plan. Ryu has to give up Okazemi. And well, there is one good plan you could do. Say you, I say I don't think it's BS. Like say you get a zoning lead on Gao and you get a knockdown. You throw a light fireball and you do hash. You know down down hash. I, I, maybe I'm saying it wrong. It's not, not hashigeki, but you know his charge to charge his fireballs and then you throw another fireball. Win or lose that exchange, like you have to get a knockdown. If you don't, well. See, like, I, I, that's where I say, okay, like, the zoning game isn't that great. Like, especially with, like, meter-wise, like, meter -wise, like Ryu can respond to Guile. And it's, I guess, I think it's probably bad. I don't, I think putting him right here isn't the best way to say it. I don't I don't agree with this. It's the main thing that's like, I'm like, what? No, I'd say bad at worst. As right now, as the situation stands, as it, as it stands, right? But I think, for sure, Guile is a better player than Ryu. I'm not denying that. I'm like, Guile's a motherfucker. But anyways... Uh, another one that I found kind of funny was, like, Jamie. It's like, yeah, you know, Jamie does struggle with people who can really zone. And one reason, as the, I was thinking, like, well, when you have, you know, Denjin Hado, like, oh, yeah, Jamie can't drink for shit. But the thing is, if you give it up once, like I say, you could do, oh, say Jamie takes a drink and you already have charge. You do Hado. You knock him down. You throw a light fireball. Then you charge. Jamie can't drink. He has to still contest with the fireball in the screen. So I was like, and there you go. That's why like, you automatically. But as someone who's played Jamie, I didn't struggle that much against Ryu. I'd say it's in good. Because Jamie will struggle with someone who can consistently keep. Like, I feel like in these order, are like, like I said, I'll cover with Jamie. Like, I, like this is how I felt that someone who's a Jamie player, and even as someone who plays Ryu, um, this is the order of zoners that I have to get. Like, like, Lu like uh, Ryu, I only worry if he has full charge. If And he can throw a couple. It's like, whatever. It's not the scariest thing. Luke, oh, for sure. 1,000%. He's probably the scariest one that I know I'll always get punished. But I know that he's not the soup. Like, I can at least get in on, on... I know I feel like I can get on Luke, Luke easier than everybody else. But he's the main person that I know I can't drink against. So, you know, it's a double-sided coin. I, can, I can't drink against Luke pretty much 90% of the time. But at least I don't have to get scared or be as... Like, if, if Luke whiffs a... a, a uh a flash oh i'm solid the other characters with like i still have to deal with the fireball then also i would say it's ryu no yeah ryu luke guile then dj because guile he always has that constant double that's what matters more against jamie that your fireball is always a present danger and hard to deal with and yeah no with J D dj is definitely the worst one in my opinion one of uh jamie's worst matchups and guile no he's a motherfucker but i never felt 
as far as zoning, like, okay, it's harder for me to drink, but I can do it if I really want to against, like, a Ryu player. Like, I could parry or just jump neutral. And then, okay, he could do stuff, and now we're playing the game, right? Whereas Guile, he tries to move forward. Like, you, you lose your turn, but why would you go forward against the Jamie player? But anyways, and he doesn't stop my buttons. Like, to me, like, no, no. No, no, no. I could say definitely good for Ryu, for sure, because I he prevents me from drinking. And even if I do something, he could just start dash up, and he still has a threat of a Hado. Whereas Guile can't do that, but that's a whole different story. But I'd say good. I would never say very good. And Like, no. Heck, if anything, Jamie has great punishment against Ryu. Like, absolutely amazing if he whips stuff. Like, Jamie can really whip, has really good punishment against uh, Ryu. And that's and, and he can get drinks off. And that's why, to me, I don't think it's a bad match that bad. Uh, but anyways, that's my whole thing with Jamie. Jamie put him down. Gotta put him up. Those two are my biggest ones I, that I don't 100% agree with, but I see the mentality. Uh, Geef, I mean, obviously, Ryu does good against Geef. That's not that big of a secret. Like, I like to look at the, the, the historical matchup. I think that at worst than any game, it'll go down one or two. I don't think, like, because the core of the game, unless it's something like Vega, where he, the, the mechanics just kind of fuck him with... Ryu, they don't really fuck him. He just, he's just, he himself and the mechanics combined are not broken. And it makes sense. He's the Shoto. He's supposed to be the most honest one, right? And that tends to be why he's never the greatest, especially lately. But JP being bad, it's like, yeah, I can see, because how can you really zone against this fucking crackhead motherfucker? Fair enough. Lily, hmm... Uh, the only reason I can say is because Ryu's Hado is so slow that she could just spiral through it in armor, so like fair enough. And even with Denjin, it doesn't make a difference. So yeah, I'd, I'd say it's slightly in Lily's favor for sure, but at the end of the day, I'll say this much. Lily's 100% the worst character in this game. I talked about it in my other video. Heck, I might make a video dedicated just to that to go to dump on top of Lily, but I'd say it's like, it's, it's mainly like slightly even they say okay let's say it is in lily's favor but it's like oh it's lily who gives a shit you're gonna clap her so there's that chun li i don't really know but i guess it's bad like i said i can agree with like i feel like yo yeah no for sure luke 100 percent. i agree is definitely bad because you're not out zoning luke and his like it's it's luke we already luke has no bad matchup so that's easy and yeah no luke is just a way better re it's not even a contest that, that's it i agree with that that is definitely a very bad matchup cammy I don't think it's as bad as they think. I'd say bad. Maybe top bad, but not very bad. Marissa. Interesting. I haven't played enough Marissas with Ryu, so I don't know. Also, I feel like it's a bit weird, because like I feel like Marissa really struggles to kind of get in. And, it, and uh, Ryu's not the best at zoning, and she has a lot of answers, but like, I don't know. I'll have to personally actually fight that to contest that, but for now, I would say it can go either way for bad or very bad. But, huh, that's weird to me that Guile, he does bad, but he does good with DJ, and I'm trying to think how. Like, obviously, if he has full charge, DJ can't do shit about it, that's for sure. So I think that's the reason why, is that Gao can kind of do something when he has full charge, Hado, whereas DJ can't. But, like, as far as regular zoning, like, dude, start zoning is super strong for DJ. Like, super, super fucking strong. He's the strongest out of everybody. But that's the thing, once you can get past that, then, okay, he's very weak. His zoning, he doesn't have a lot of flexible zoning, if that makes sense. He has that one slash, but that's just generic as fuck, nothing special. So I'm very curious why he thinks that he has a good matchup against DJ. And I feel like, you know what, he's right. Because I can't even, like, stop and think, like, well, it has to be there. Luke, no, Ken and Ryu, not, you know, I agree. It's, it's, well, wait, he says it's in Ryu's favor. Uh, yeah, Ryu can outzone Ken, that's not a secret. But to me, I almost feel like Ken should be good against Ryu because Ken's pressure is fucking amazing. Maybe it's the footsies game. Because if that's the case, then I can kind of see it. I don't know. That one, I I would I would put an unknown for me. Blanco? I'm not positive, but I would say he's somewhere even-ish. Maybe good in Ryu's favor. Zengi, like I said, no, that's that's 100% in Ryu's favor. Like, miss me with this, especially when they nerf some of the key things. Like, no, nerfed in Ryu's favor. That, that, that's a good, sir. I don't know about very good, but I think I kind of, I see the mentality on why he beats Jury, not Jury as much, but definitely Kimberly. No, Kim yeah, Jury and Kimberly are like, hmm, interesting, huh? But, I would def uh, Manon. I one thousand percent see it. Like if if you can keep Manon out, she she mad struggles. Like I think Manon's bad matchups are literally every single zoner, maybe Luke the least. But yeah, those are and also she doesn't do good against um, Zangief. So that's another thing about Manon. Like I think she's a solid character, even with Marissa. I think part of their problems, especially more Marissa or both of them, they have a lot of bad matchups. They really do, but they're not bad characters. Ar arguably, it seems that Manon Manon's easier to use than Marissa. That's for sure. But I always thought Marissa would be considered the better character. But that's what I'm thinking. Like, see, Jamie and Marissa, I think, are getting a bit slept on. Especially Gao, for whatever reason. And everyone's too focused on JP. It's because JP and Manon are, like, easy characters to get results. 
Whereas Marissa and Jamie, you have to really put some work in, but I think they have mad potential, right? So that's what I'm saying, like, this one, it's like, no, dude, it's at least good, especially when we know he has more potential. But not, that's a, there's nothing much to it. I think that's Ryu's best matchup. I 100% agree with that. I think Manon gets clapped by Ryu, also by Geef. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the Ryu matchup. I just, you know what? I think he's right. I don't think he really has any even matchups, like, honestly. I would say maybe even, I if the closest if I would have to say any, it would be Jamie, Honda, Ken at best, and Lily, like, I would I would say Lily because Lily's like okay yeah you have options to read but like you just suck Lily just sucks ass like drive impact yeah, is your best answer you know yo I just found you randomly but I got a question 